Matera, City of Caves, is one of the oldest continually inhabited cities in the world. The southern Italian city is a Swiss cheese-like network of staircases, underground tunnels, and cave dwellings carved out of the hilly landscape. Today, its historic center resembles an open-air museum with public sculptures, churches, and even a former rooftop cemetery. It has become a hip tourist destination. People may recognize Matera as the backdrop to Hollywood movies such as Mel Gibson's The Passion of Christ and the superhero film Wonder Woman. It has been named the 2019 European Capital of Culture. Today, it has a population of about 60,000 people, most of whom live in the modern part of town. About 30 minutes away from Matera lies an ancient village called Rotterle. Today, Rotterle has only 300 people in its historic centre. In the 1970s, agriculture was no longer lucrative, so many people from the village moved to bigger cities in search of new job opportunities. There are now 600 empty homes there. But change may be on the horizon. This year, Airbnb has partnered with a local NGO called Wonder Grottele to launch a new project known as The Italian Sabbatical. Five people from all over the world have been selected as volunteers, living in the village for three months and taking part in local activities such as beekeeping and pasta making. The Italian Sabbatical is part of a wider effort to revitalize the village through experiential tourism. One of the five Italian sabbatical volunteers is Anne Ticado, who is from the Philippines and has been living in Australia for the past seven years. Hi, I'm Anne, and as you can see now, I'm standing in my Airbnb home, and behind me is the pub, and you can see the rolling hills of, Gro of Grottole, and if you can notice, the roads are empty right now, it's because it's siesta time. It's the time when the locals and everyone else in Grottole rest and, uh, you know, chill. <laughs> I really thought that Grottole would be a sleepy town, like, like a ghost town, but you know, it's the opposite because for instance, the pub behind me, you see it's empty right now, but when you go there at 9 onwards, it's packed with people. Like people come there to have a drink to meet their friends and it can get really lively at night. Like you'll see kids playing around, even at midnight, like elementary school kids and also like high school kids, they're just in the castle hanging out. So. I don't think it's a... Uh, I think it exceeded my expectation. Tourism is a model that has worked in nearby Matera. Its fate has not always been this sunny. In the 20th century, it was known as the shame of Italy. Poverty, hunger and diseases were rampant. In the 1950s, the government ordered the people of Matera to move out of the old town into more modern neighbourhoods nearby. Later, after decades of abandonment, the historic centre was revitalised. Tourism has also given it a boost. The dwellings of yesteryear have since been converted into swanky hotels, Airbnbs and underground restaurants. Tourism has helped revitalise Matera and there are hopes that Grottola will follow. Italian Sabbatical is a project uh, created by Wonder Grotta and Airbnb and was about hosting some volunteers in our village of Grotten in southern Italy uh, to uh, develop some project with the local community and so uh, to give them the opportunity to live as a local in, in our village at the same time to share their knowledge with the local people. So the challenge now and what we want to create with Wonder Grottole is that the small village can become like a crossroad where people from all around the world can gather together. <laughs>